Hello! Hello my honeybees! So today I'm going to show you guys something that I've been enjoying lately. Uh, it's like a meal combo. I don't know if it's necessarily healthy, but there are a lot of vegetables involved. So let's get started. We are going to first start off with some grape tomatoes. We are going to wash them. I like my food a little bit colorful, so I got the colorful one and the red ones as well. I'm going to eat a lot of these, so I think that's good enough. Let's wash it. I just rinsed it and I'm going to leave it in the water for a little bit. And then we are going to cut some onions. I'm just probably going to do a third of it because look how huge this onion is. So let's first cut it in. Half. Take out the outer layer and then maybe yeah, cut it in half and then we're going to cut it into little pieces. I love onions. This is necessary for me. Put the water out. And put the onions in here. Ta -da. And then we are going to get extra olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And then we're gonna let it, like not too much, let it mix in. Mix it. Mix it good, mix it well. We are also going to use, I like to use this uh, pickling sauce for onion. This is actually for onions for when you eat Korean barbecue. But if you don't have a Korean market nearby, you can just um, also use balsamic vinegar. Just going to put a little bit, maybe like half a spoon to one spoon. Mix it. And what I also like to add here are mozzarella balls mozzarella put as many as you like if you don't like mozzarella or cheese you don't have to put this step so you can opt out the onion part if you guys don't like the onions if you don't like cheese don't add the cheese i am going to add the cheese because i love cheese however many as you like like i said Depends how much cheese, how much oil, how much whatever you put to decipher if this is healthy or not. But I think this is pretty healthy. Healthier than noodles, right? So we'll just mix it well together. Let it soak in. And then voila. That's it. Super easy, right? Okay. Ta-da. Orange and yellow. so pretty okay so we're using brown rice because we are trying to eat a little healthier and i have this truffle butter that we bought which changed my life um truffle itself is expensive but this truffle butter i think was about 60 dollars i believe and it's lasted us a long time so I just like to mix a little bit of this truffle butter into the rice and then it's going to give me a nice truffle taste and I love it. And then I also, the butter is going to melt because the rice is hot and I also like to add this pickled onion sauce again, just a little bit, give it a little bit more flavor. We're going to cook some eggs and put it on top and voila that's it hello my honey bees it's your girl honey and today i'm going to be eating truffle butter rice with eggs and tomato mozzarella salad and bell peppers so let's dig in because i'm so hungry guess what guys my ice is back i'm so happy i literally need to have ice with most of my drinks and 
Unfortunately, my other ice machine, we couldn't fix it. So we had another extra one at home. So we just exchanged it. And here we are with some ice and sparkling water. Cheers. So you guys are going to be like, what is this combo, honey? Well, I don't know. I don't know if you would call this healthy. I think it's pretty healthy. It's healthier than noodles, right? Um, but I've really been enjoying this combo and I really hope you guys try it. I do love this salad. Like, I'm obsessed with it. And I've been eating this combo like a few days straight for a while and I don't get sick of it. So let's try it. I'm so sad this egg popped. But you know, we gotta embrace the imperfections. So let's try our first bite. Honey bite with the egg. And yes, we are eating brown rice. So, whoop, hold on. Yeah. Come on. Come on, egg. Work with me here. First bite. Honey bite. Mmm. You get a little taste of that truffle and it's amazing. Look at that. I love it. Mmm. I don't know if it's just me, but I think I always enjoy a little bit of crunch with my food. And so I wanted to eat bell peppers. It's good. Mm. I love eggs. Mm. If you guys ever try making this salad, let me know how you guys like it. It's best if you let the sauce soak it in for a little bit. So like, leave it out for a little while. Maybe like 10 minutes. But if you don't have the time, it's still good. So yeah, if you guys don't have a Korean market, you guys can use balsamic vinegar. Mm. I can eat this every day. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I love the texture of brown rice. I prefer brown rice over white. You guys might think this is a weird combo, but you never know if you're gonna like it until you try it, right? Believe it or not, I love the taste of veggies. Like my favorite salad is arugula and I know a lot of people don't like arugula salad because it could be too earthy for them but I love arugula so good mm. 
Mm. Have you guys been doing the workouts with me? The ab workouts? I haven't been able to do it every day, but I've been doing it as much as I could. Um, today, I started the Jungkook workout. It's only like 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how you pace yourself. But man, I was sweating by the end of that. I do really enjoy doing home training, like watching YouTube videos and just following it. If you guys have some workout videos that you want to share, please share them in the comments down below. I like doing different workouts. Because I feel like it gets boring if you keep doing the same things over and over again. Mm. So simple, but delicious. Mm. Mm hmm. I love that it's so colorful. <laughs> Yum. You guys, I have some really good news. So, you guys know, I kind of took a break with mukbang videos I mean I was a little bit more focused on golf I realized that golf is truly my passion And a lot of people have actually told me that they think I have talent in it. And I wanted to follow my passion and my dreams. And yes, I'm sorry for, you know, taking a long break. But it is getting somewhere, guys. I may be modeling for a huge, huge clothing company, like a sports clothing company, slash, they sell regular clothes actually, but it's like sports company, but if it goes through, I will announce it to you guys, but I just received an email and I might be working with them in March. Huge. And then... Another golf company actually contacted me and are interested in working with me. So I'm super, super excited for that too. Nothing is set in stone yet, but most likely it will happen. And I'm so excited. You guys, it's never too late to follow your dreams and to, you know, have a passion. I'm in my mid-30s now, and 
I just found my passion in golf. Like, who would have ever thought I would be, I would love and be obsessed with golf. Right. My dad first introduced me to golf when I was like seven, but you know, I just hit some balls just because, just because, you know, and I remember my dad was addicted to golf. Like when it's golf season, my dad would always watch Tiger on TV. I still remember the Sunday rides, but I always thought golf was so boring and it was boring to watch and I remember back in the day no one really considered it a sport. They're like golf isn't a sport. And there was a stereotype behind it like only rich old people play or it's like boring, you know? Um Now, golf is like a cool sport. All the kids want to play golf. They want to become a pro golfer. It's really interesting to see how things change over time. And I wish I, you know, actually pursued my career in golf. And I remember my dad was like, oh my gosh, like, honey is talented in golf. Like, if she loved it, I would have loved her to be in the LPGA. Like, she has the skills. And I wish I just pursued it. I wish I listened to my dad, but at the time I was like, no, this is not my thing. The reason why I started golf was because during COVID, you couldn't be in contact with people. But golf was kind of like an individual sport, so a lot of people were getting into it. Um, I actually kind of started falling in love with it because the clothes were starting to look cute. Like, they had a lot of cute golf clothes, and I was like, oh, it's cute. I want to wear it, and I want to hit balls on the golf course and wear cute clothes and, you know share my clothing fashion and style with my followers and then I started my golf account and then here I am just caught the golf bug super addicted loving it and hoping to turn it into uh, I don't know a golf influencer or into work you know My ultimate goal and dream with this whole golf golf thing is to become a senior pro golfer. I know a lot of people are, laugh at me or like, they're like, what is she talking about? Like, you're not good enough to be pro. And that's why I do want to be a senior golfer because I still have years ahead of me. And, you know, it's always good to dream, you know. And it doesn't hurt to dream. And that's what motivates me to do better, right? If you have an ultimate goal or a dream. So if you ever see me on senior LPGA, you guys heard it here. That was my dream since I was, what, I was 32 when I first started golf. But hopefully I could reach high for my dreams and goals. And yeah, so guys, be on the lookout. You guys might see me model for some golf stuff and... I am so excited for what's in store for me. And this is already my last bite, you guys. Last bite. And again, my whole message to you guys is to never stop dreaming. And you guys should have like an ultimate goal or dream that other people might think it's impossible. But there is nothing that is impossible. My goal in life is to make the impossible possible. And I believe nothing is impossible in this world. And so yeah, cheers, last bye.
Mm. If you guys do try this combo out, or the salad at least, let me know in the comments down below how you guys like it. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And to become a honeybee. And like this video if you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!